Okay guys, welcome back. We've got a 96 Chevy here. Um, we did a vacuum pod for the four-wheel drive here. If you need that, click on my name underneath this video for all my how-to videos and you can find that. Today, we're going to do front brake service. Eh, kind of easy, kind of similar to most, except out of all uh, Chevys, this is the one that I dislike the most because of these crazy little pins right here that like to fall out. They're a pain to get back in there because there's not enough room for the meat, the new meat, the thickness of the new brake pads. So first thing we're going to start off with is, of course, pull your reservoir because we do this so that we don't have to bleed the brakes for when we're done. Um, now, the tools that I got out, I got my uh, C-clamp in order to press my caliper piston back again so we don't have to bleed. We got a 3 8 drive Allen, got a hammer for a little tapping, pliers for a little pinching, and two screwdrivers. I use one screwdriver to pry with. The other one is just in case because, again, these stupid little pins. So let's start off by releasing both of our caliper bolts, one here and one down here. You can see where they're sticking out there if you're unfamiliar with it. Rotor looks pretty good. Well, could be turned, but we're not doing that today. Okay, so let's get those two off and move that caliper back. Those bolts out. Now we can remove the caliper back. Might have to beat a little bit or pry a little bit. I'm going to try to get it with one hand. Boy, that is like sticking. Look at that. It's stuck completely. Oh, there it is moving a little bit. Wow. Okay, so we're going to pry this off of here a little bit. I'm going to have to give it a little bit of a... There we go. Got it. Now, oh, there's those pins I was talking about. My God, if they'll stay in there, that would be fantastic. If they fall out, that's where that little screwdriver is going to come in. And uh, I kind of hope they do fall out so I can show you how. But I kind of hope they don't because I don't want to have to mess with them. So first thing we're going to do here on the caliper is get this brake out. We'll go ahead and leave the other brake in. And now we'll squeeze this down right here because we want to shove this piston back. We're going to squeeze this all together with our C-clamp. Shove this piston all the way back. Now as we're shoving this back, I'm turning this nice and slow like, like bumping it. Like bump, bump, bump. Because if you go cranking it real tight, you're putting pressure up against that master cylinder up there. And one thing is we don't want to overflow the fluid and squirt it out. But the main thing is it will actually get tight on you like the brakes are getting tightened and it's harder to turn. So if you just kind of bump it like that, it'll always stay loose and you can just continue around. If I crank it real fast right now, I'm not going to get anywhere. So let's take that cylinder all the way down as far as she can. We need all the room that we can get. Just about there. All right. So now let's get ready to put our new brakes on. Okay, so you got two sets, two types of brakes in here. One with the clip and one with the flat plate. The flat plate is going to be towards you out here. The one with the clip's going on the inside. So what we're going to do is just set it right in there just like that into her home and snap her down if she'll let us. There we go. The second one, same direction. We want the half moon on the outside to follow the concurve of the rotor. Okay, got a phone call there. Had to shut it off. All right, so now we are ready to stick it back on the rotor. We're just going to grab it, flip it around, and poke it on the rotor. Pins still, ha still have not fell out. That's a good thing for me, but not for you. So if they do come out, you can squeeze them back in with pliers, but they don't want to stick in there unless you squeeze really hard and, and get a little snap out of them. If you don't, then you have to pry them in with a screwdriver, and they are a pain in the butt, but just do the top one first and then pry the bottom one in if they do fall out on you. And get them really tight up against there, then use that little skinny screwdriver and just pry it back and just bump it in until you can slide the pin in. But in this case, let's just rotate it and we'll throw it on. Okay, so the bottom one just slipped out on me, so you do get to see it. So we're going to concentrate on the front one first. I've got it held back with a screwdriver. Now I'm going to tap right here with a hammer until it slides in. Then we'll get the bottom one. Lined up. Now, I only want that bolt to where it's barely sticking out right there. I need to leave that much out because we need this to rotate a little bit, and it won't unless you do that. So cock that sideways, just barely poke it in to keep it aligned. And now we can pry in the bottom one that fell out. I knew that was going to happen. Got the screwdriver lined up in there to where I could get on it right there. And it went in a little bit. Now I'm going to tap it into place. Right about there. And then I could run my bolt in. Oh, I got a little bit of adjusting to do. 
can't see in there, but it's got to be close. Let me run it in there with two hands. And you don't start tightening up until you know you got one started, so you know they, that they're lined up. And then you can snug up the other one. I like to snug this one almost tight, go back to that one, snug it all the way up, and then go back to this one again and tighten it all the way. So we'll get those ran down. Okay, so got those back on. Now we can put the tire back on. Those are truly the only Chevy brakes that I just don't care for. So they are a little pain in the butt. The video makes it look like it's quick and easy to snap it in, do this, but there is some prying and some pushing that you have to do. So let's get the tire on now. Now I'm gonna show you how we're gonna push on these brakes uh, in order to make sure we don't get air in the system and we don't have to bleed them. So let me get the tire on real quick. The tire back on, went ahead and snapped our lid back into place. This thing needs a bath, huh? So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna push these brakes down three times, nice and slow and uh, go all the way to the floor. Don't push it halfway and back up. Just three times straight down, nice and slow. It's gonna go all the way down. One, you're gonna feel like you have no brakes. Two, she's already getting tight. Three, that feels pretty snug. Let's do it one more. Now we're gonna start the vehicle and do the exact same thing. All the way to the floor again. One, two, Three, now she's coming back up. That's it, we got brakes. Oh yeah. So I hope this video helps you out. Please click like, please click subscribe. Click on my name underneath this video for all my other how-to videos. And as always guys, enjoy.